<sighs> another day, another podcast. How is everybody doing? That's okay, you can't reply because you're a camera. Or you're on the other side of the camera, which is about to go into the computer, which travels over the internet, Wi-Fi, to the... Anyway. Um, today's a little bit different, I suppose. I actually have zero plan for what I'm going to talk about. Um, I actually just started the camera and so we're gonna see how that works and if it works and it probably won't but it's gonna work anyway because we're gonna make it work anyway check it out I'm kind of sitting here surrounded by this beautiful nature freaking trees freaking flowers freaking palms all sorts of things like that actually I was just filming uh, with my brother this is he set all this up and uh, I was just playing like a part, if you can't tell, I've got this like mustache type thing going on here. Just playing some type of part for my brother for one of his videos. I uh, I have no idea what I did or how it's going to turn out or whatever, but it's kind of fun. And yeah, I mean, I was sitting here, I'm wearing this fancy shirt. <laughs> I never wear color, get this, ever. But uh, for the video, I thought it'd be funny to put together some color. and. Yeah, just relax and I figured if I'm sitting here, I got the camera rolling, might as well challenge myself. And that's, uh, man, that's what I've been doing a lot lately. The past couple weeks, the past month in general actually, like since the weather got nice, summer, I've been challenging myself to just be better, but not just be better, like to get out of my comfort zone specifically because I get super comfortable. I mean, I live a great life. I'm very happy with so many things in my life so like I'm comfortable I'm cool and so it's so easy to just like relax into that lean back and just like not do anything just like not challenge yourself like you know I feel really good lately since I've been focusing and organizing my thoughts you know this doing this podcast has really helped me but not just organizing my thoughts organizing um, my mind and my life and kind of how I live my life you know I mentioned a couple of podcasts ago that I've been meditating more I've been doing like breath work Wim Hof breathing and I've been doing like the seven minute workout and I've been doing it every day for about 20 days now cross my fingers not to jinx because every time I say that I end up stopping for some stupid reason <sighs> but yeah, I've been doing it for about 20 days now, and I really do feel a profound difference. Just in uh, my willingness to do things. I mean, after we finished our van build, if you don't know, uh, me and my girlfriend Tina, we live in a van now. We bought just like a plain white van, and we turned it into a crazy hippie home. And I've uh, been doing that for since April. But... I don't know, I guess since we moved into the van, it's like, that was such a big project, such a crazy endeavor that once it was finished, it was kind of like, oh, yeah, it's done. Now what are we going to do? I, I don't know. And so that's kind of where I've been at for a couple months. And uh, I'm starting to get back into, oh, there's my brother over here. What's up, homie? I'm trying to do a podcast. Figure might as well give her while you have this uh, beautiful backdrop for me, bro. Thank you. But yeah, as I was saying, went through a little bit of a rut, but feeling pretty good lately. And feeling, um, oh, sorry, talking to the camera. You want to come join? Uh, the podcast? Yeah. Sure. For two minutes? Come on by. Got Say this nice little... for a couple seconds. Why not, dude? Oh, well, hello. What's up? This is my brother. If you don't know, you freaking know. So. What were you just saying? What were you just talking about? Talking about uh, how, uh, well, really, I kind of started this video with like no real intention. Just kind of started it. That's a challenge, you know. Just like. Yeah, winging it. Winging it, a hundred percent. But also, doing this, like, it really helps me to organize my thoughts because I'm like forced to externalize everything. Yeah. You know, instead of it being a turn internal and then it kind of gets lost. I was just saying, like, after the van project, I was really feeling kind of lost because I finished such a big project and it felt like, 
it felt great to finish it. Felt proud. It was like awesome, you know. But it was consuming every single day, all day of my life, all of my energy. Now, once all that energy was like uh, not on the van anymore, it was like kind of like, oh shit, where do I put this energy? Yeah, I think that a lot of people experience that when they win big things, like an Oscar or like a or a Grammy, or they have their number one hit moment or something. I always feel like, like, dude, we have like a album release party or something, and then like the next few months you're like, well, what now? Yeah. Um, but like, I think uh, it's important to, to have those lost feelings, because if there's no questions, you'll never find an answer, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And like I was saying um, before you hopped on here, Cam, like, yeah. I was feeling super it's like I had all this leftover energy, but I was just like really comfortable just sitting around doing nothing. Like, do you ever get like really comfortable sitting around doing fuck all? Yeah, yeah, sometimes, man, sometimes. I don't know, it, it, it's weird how I have these, these ups and downs of like, all right, I'm totally focused and I have a goal and I'm gonna put in overtime towards it. And then the other end where it's like, I don't wanna do anything and I'm just gonna play video games or whatever. You know but yeah at the same time ah I like those things like I like when I don't feel a need to like do anything and I could kind of just relax and play video games like I yeah. love that but sometimes I feel guilty about it you know that's that's when I when I don't feel guilty about slacking off that's when I have the best time slacking off oh yeah but when I feel guilty about it it's like but I'm still slacking off it's like uh this sucks yeah there's like this this like let go you have to have i think everybody has to have um yeah. and it's never final <laughs> you're gonna let go of something and then you'll find three months later that you've been slowly picking that thing up every single day reaching for it and then three months down the line you're like oh shit i need to let go again and what i mean by let go it's sort of like um you care too much you know, somebody wrote a book called The Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Great title, because it really is an yeah. art. It's a, it's, a, it's a subtle art, because we care too much about things that aren't important in the grander scheme of things. Like Anthony, I was on a podcast with him, and he said, he's like, man, if you knew you were going to die in 24 hours, you wouldn't really care much about a lot of the things. Like, you know what I mean? It yeah. wouldn't be a question. Like, if you were slacking off in your last 24 hours, you would instantly get your ass up and go do something. It wouldn't even be like, oh, I feel guilty. It's more or less like, all right, well, let's go. Because <laughs> there's nothing else I can really do about the past, you know? Yeah. And I'm, that's a good point because when I'm thinking about that kind of shit, like, I'm not living in the present moment, you know? No, I'm thinking about yeah. like, oh, Am I doing good enough? Is this gonna pay off? Oh, or I'm, you know, feeling bad about something that I, time that I lost, and then you're thinking about time you lost, and you lose even more time by thinking about the time you lost. Yeah, and you grow older. You're 25 now. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. and and I guess in this society, in general, I think human beings just gravitate towards the thought of, oh shit, I'm running out of time, or there is a time limit, or you know what I mean? And like, sure there is, but that's really you can't change that in a way like i'm not saying everything is determined you know what i mean everything is already laid out and you're just kind of going through the motions you have no free will but it's more or less like either way you're gonna die there's we're, we're all gonna die yep there's like and dark subject sure but that at the, the deepest level that is your fear because when you are guilty about slacking off, you're guilty about wasting the time of your life because you deeply know that you're going to die. That there's, yeah. you know what I mean? So at the end of that that rabbit hole is you fearing that you're going to die and yeah. you, don't have, you don't have enough time for everything. And I think you know? what I'm learning now is that you kind of need that time of like, like you wouldn't feel guilty or bad about what you're doing if you didn't, know deep down that you need to do something different you know like oh yeah it's you conflicting with your values right yeah guilt basically yeah well i mean i'm not feeling that anymore that's like, good it's t no not feeling that anymore because i took that feeling and i like applied it 
I was like, oh, this feels like shit. Okay, so this is what I need to do. True. So it totally like opened my mind. It, it just opened me up to like new perspective and to like a new way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, like how many times in our lives have we had to admit that we're wrong? <laughs> yeah, lots. <laughs> like a lot of times. Yeah. And it's those are the best moments though because you get to realize something new. You get to learn something new, you know? And something that's gonna make your life better. Like I remember when I had to admit that like, even just uh, the, f the first biggest one was like, kind of when Letterbomb broke up. You know, when what I was when book? we were younger, we were in a band and Cam fucking quit the band and I was pissed, yeah. really pissed. But you know, we grew up for like four, five, six years thinking like, pretty much knowing and hearing from everybody that we're gonna be these crazy rock stars, this big success, right? And uh, it didn't pan out the way we thought it would. And so we kind of had to just like, I don't know, you could deny it and you could like try to avoid it and you could, I don't know, try to ignore the feeling, but I soaked, I soaked in that for a while of like, oh, well, this sucks. But what rose from that was like, I was just ready for everything and anything. It's like, okay, well, if that's not gonna work out, you know, one door closes, a freaking million doors open. Yeah. And it was like, oh, cool, dope. And then like, as I'm growing up and becoming an adult, even just like simple things like belief systems, you know, like I used to think drinking was like cool and it was like, it wasn't that bad. It's not really hurting you or, or harming you that bad. You could drink like every day. You could drink like all the time and not just drink. I'm talking binge drinking. I was a binge drinker, big time. And what might not be a problem for everybody, but for me, I had to like admit like, yo, I suck. Yeah. Yeah, no, I get it. And from, from that comes a, a really valuable lesson that actually sinks in that you actually learn not not intellectually yeah. but in like deeply you know and uh yeah no i've had a lot of those experiences i actually like kind of thought about how awesome it is to be wrong yeah because every time you're wrong about something you know what the right thing is you know the truth is you know yeah the, like i think the most recent one oh i could there's a list <laughs> actually no yeah. i think there's a there's a long list of those because uh I don't know, people don't expect you to to admit that you're wrong. That's like, that kills the ego. The ego doesn't, Yeah. that's a bad feeling, really, socially. But uh, when you do it, it's like you, you push through and it's, it's really nice at the end of the day. Yeah, dude, for sure. It's nice to be the bigger person. With yourself. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. It's awesome. Because there's like, there's always yeah. a something to be over something to overcome almost within which is like today and yesterday and every day almost i can't get out of bed right away there's like this battle with myself because like i Yo. love my life it's actually really hard for me to get to sleep i haven't had I that life i haven't had that in so long actually yeah well you've been sleeping but, with the sun but listen <laughs> like, like a good circadian rhythm going when we used to do podcasts together all the time that was like the thing that i was struggling with all the time like what yeah. did i bring up all the time oh i can't get myself out of bed oh i sleep until freaking three or four o'clock like how often was i having that dilemma now you're having that dilemma. oh it's not a dilemma for me it's just like i'm well, kind of going with it i can't sleep yeah. at night i don't know what it is i have to be up but that's okay <laughs> Yeah, no, but, I'm okay with it. I've, I've kind of figured okay. out a schedule. I was not okay with it. I was yeah. so mad at myself. I was like, dude. No, I actually, I love it. <laughs> yeah. The, I'd well. say the only unfortunate part is that I can't really wake up with my phone on airplane mode because it's the middle of the day and I'm going to get important messages. I need to just wake yeah. up and look at my phone right away. If I was waking up at 5 a.m., I could shut my phone off till a certain time. Or like if I was waking up yeah. at 8, I could shut my phone off till a certain time, but... Yeah, I That's kind of the have only downside I've noticed. Living in a van, man. It's so it is pretty cool cuz you're like more with the elements and nature. We got this window directly above the van, so as soon as the light comes out, I'm up at like this morning 8. Yeah. That's funny. Like <laughs> I went to bed at like 6. 7:38. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. I was up. That's awesome. And also, the van gets really hot once the sun comes out, so you ain't sleeping in a hot van. No, yeah, yeah. Not happening. For sure. 
When are you getting a van, bro? Is no this something you still want to do van life? Yeah, eventually. I have a long life, dude. Long life ahead of me. Is and, this uh, uh, are you still saving for it and everything? Uh, I recently purchased computer parts so I can edit better. But, so no. <laughs> so I still have savings, but yeah. I, I don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon because I'm kind of just going with my gut on this one, going with what feels right and what excites me the most. And so from the sounds of it, not gonna be in a van for the next two years probably. Maybe a year, depends. Depends on how things go. But Yeah, man. But like I said, I'm going with what excites me the most. What do we why do you want a van? You want it cuz it makes you happier or it will fulfill Ooh. you in a certain way or it's the lifestyle it, you yeah. want. So like it's like I got a million uh, reasons, man. Yeah, and somebody Save money. That's what I mean. It's not for everyone. You know what I mean? Sure, it's practical financially, but sometimes people want a house. And for no, me, yeah, I, no, I it's do different for videos everybody all the for time. Sure. Like I can't I can't necessarily film with my five of my buddies in a van you know what I mean it's best well that, uh, there's always a way well yeah no but you know what I mean like it's nice to have a creative space um, yeah no me, I guess like you cooking everything for yeah, now yeah, yeah for now I know that eventually if I'm financially free and I have tons of money if like, there's anything I know about you is you're always changing your mind yeah yeah you always got a new idea a new plan yeah so it makes sense to just be open to whatever's gonna come your way man like uh I used to hate myself for that man like switching sides and changing lanes all the time but now I'm realizing why I do it I really the thing I love about myself the most is that I follow my emotion in in a, in a, in a logical way not in a I'm angry I'm going to punch this person in the face kind of way more like oh I don't know why but in my body when I think about this thing it excites the shit out of me and and yeah. and everything logically tells me not to do it, you know. It's it's not a very like I'm just talking about my YouTube channel. It's absurd. It's ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. How is it helping the world? I don't know. But for some reason within me, it is what excites me the most. It's what gets me out of bed every morning, you know. Yeah, and you know what, dude? I think uh, that's amazing. It's like everybody wants that something that's exciting for them to like. You know, some type of passion. And if that's your current passion, roll with it, man. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And you'll find balance. You keep changing things maybe because I don't know if you could relate, but for me, man, oftentimes I'm just off balance. And I don't think I've ever really found a balance in my life of like, you know, play, which is like, you know, your passion and excitement and all that shit. But also like work, you know, which is like creating a life that's sustainable for you and yeah. you know in the coming years and also like health and like relationships like i usually instead of finding a balance in all these things i dive in one and i go all in until i get bored of it and then i go to something else you know that's what i tend to do but i've been like focusing way less on that stuff recently and it's almost like balanced itself out in a sense that might might be something to that you know yeah because you're like not that forcing it so much as just like uh letting it find its own balance which is cool but also being present being there because yeah. uh I'm, I'm never distracted like my on the opposite my only leisure time is like watching pewdiepie play minecraft oh you're watching that love that shit yeah that's <laughs> great funny. i it's watched hilarious. i watched one of those because like i good. i used to play minecraft at the same time like that he did in like 2012, 2011. Oh and no. And so if I was so to it's... play new Minecraft, I wouldn't know shit. So I'm like, I, I, I relate in a sense, you know what I mean? But anyways, that's like the only leisure time I have. And I call it leisure, but it's more like, it's more like something to watch while I eat food. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I don't, like besides that. We're man, on I'm, the Netflix, uh, we've been watching Mr. D while we watch, yeah. while we eat food. I think it does depend on, on the entertainment because I like binge watched season three of stranger things loved it um but if there was a season four i'd be watching it right now you know what i mean so i guess it kind of depends on yeah what what makes me feel good because i really haven't found any other entertainment that's yeah. like entertaining but uh do what makes you feel good yeah but see there's also a balance that's what because I mean. i'm learning see what i've learned in the past couple of years is doing what feels good isn't always gonna get you sometimes the feel good isn't like 
fulfillment or like true happiness or like it's not very deep it's like surface feel good oh yeah All like right. no you're right like when i edit a video i don't feel good no I like editing <laughs> no, i'm not yeah i like it sometimes i don't I, what I do, I don't like sitting on my ass and like hunching over computer screen and doing that, but seeing it come together is nice. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of. Yeah, like there's a balance between like the stuff you want to do and the yeah. stuff you don't really want to do. Even my podcasting, do. like I love it, but if I was a millionaire, I would just outsource it. Like if I wanted to help somebody, I would help him outsource his podcasting work. Because like yeah. I don't, you know what I mean? But but it's something you got to do and it's, and it's still fulfilling and it makes it makes you money. You're an adult. You gotta eat food. You gotta, yeah, take care, provide whatever. But uh, yeah, the balance, it really comes easy. I don't know. Like I think we put too much thought into things, and it's not really about thought. I have a feeling that we all have this like inner compass, this inner like almost instinct in a sense. Like if you're lonely, yeah. there's obviously a feeling within you that says go talk to somebody. But you get too wrapped in your head about it and anxious about it, and then you just like kind of isolate yourself. Yeah, no. Yeah, the mind's powerful. Example, but... Mind's powerful, but like, like I'm a thinker, dude. Yeah. Like I get stuck up here. What you're saying is like you're trying to come from here, the heart, right? And In do sense, things like, from the heart. And more like the emotional body. Yeah. Like the well. Emotions, rather. Yeah. I don't call it the heart because I really don't know anything about that stuff. I don't know, like. I, I have felt like feelings in your heart when you feel good or whatever. It's just another way to say intuition. emotions. Emotions, gut, intuition. Or, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, and oftentimes I'm up here in the mind. But I think, you know, it's a balance between oh, the mind, definitely a balance. the because heart. Because like I said, I battle. And then your guts too, right? That's, yeah. Like I battle with myself to get up in the morning. But I definitely need that, like, that spark. Bro, what do you, why, why? <laughs> oh it's not oh no it's not because i like, don't like life it's not because i'm not excited it's because i'm dead ass tired that's all well then sleep it's man. not an emotional get as thing. much sleep as you can i sleep until my body's like all right dude you're not sleeping anymore oh well no i had a podcast i, I had to get up had okay get up. yeah it's a big day today i was doing a lot of filming or i am doing a lot of filming yeah so. even more filming yeah Anyway, this was random. It was spontaneous. It was uh, fun to kind of turn on the camera and see what happens, I guess, because I did not have a plan or a topic or anything. Glad Cam showed up to kind of share some of his uh, crazy thoughts and uh, feelings and shit. Bro. Bro? Do you want to, like, promote your Oh, yeah, sure. You can, leave a, you can leave a... So... I have this YouTube channel, we do comedy stuff and skits and challenges and all sorts of stuff. It's just me and my group of friends, we all have a different personality and it kind of mixes things up really well. And it's, where, it. it's where the mustache and the um, shirt came from. It's called, yeah, he's in one of the videos that will be coming out this week. Uh, he, the YouTube channel is called Comicality, C-O-M-I-C-A-L-I-T-Y, Comicality. It's a weird word. What you do we really name this uh, podcast? That's one thing I, I don't know very much Dude, I'm trying just, to get better titles it, just call it like like uh sort of the mind versus the heart sort of like the balance between the two i guess that was a common theme yeah throughout the there's some other things yes too, balance man talk about balance talk about uh i don't do like the, yeah there's a lot there's, of talk about balance. we're all learners here too i don't know yeah like, i don't like uh teaching people how to live their life bro this isn't how to live their life that's not what this podcast is at all no <laughs> This is literally this podcast for me. It's me Asking externalizing my a, thoughts. <laughs> Yo, I'm questioning myself. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm trying to yeah. learn from myself. I'm not even trying to teach myself. I'm trying to learn from myself by taking these freaking overthinking thoughts and putting them, externalizing them, forcing myself to speak them into existence yeah. and try to like organize it and make sense of it. And it's like on the fly, I'm thinking out loud oftentimes. And yeah, that's fun to me, and it helps me. I'm get, cool. I'm feeling better, getting things out of my. It's your video journal, off my essentially. Dude, extent. it's a freaking diary. Yeah. I call it. I'm calling it a podcast, but it's a bitch ass lame diary. Dear diary. Dear diary. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Did you make it this far? Cool. Subscribe. Bye.